teacher friends. Have you heard about Wakelet? A few months ago, before school ended, I actually discovered Wakelet. Now I've been using Wakelet to do my lesson planning. I use it kind of like a Pinterest board for teachers. Pinterest doesn't really work like I would like it to work, but Wakelet for planning lessons seems to work perfectly. I'm able to pull resources that I have all over the place and whether it's an Ed Puzzle, a Desmos lesson, a Google slide, whatever it is, and I can put it all in one spot. That's what I've been doing for lesson planning. Now, I've recently discovered that it does so much more. So let's go ahead and dive into Wakelet and I wanna show you Wakelet. It can be used for so many wonderful things. Let's dive in. So the first thing you wanna do is go to wakelet.com and sign up for a free account. So once you create an account, you'll be taken to your dashboard, which looks like this. Go here, click the plus, and you can add to your collection. You can, you can add the name of your collection, add a description, and then you can go here and you can start adding things to this board. So if you find a website that you like, you would just paste that here. So I have this great site that I had found, this video, so I'm gonna paste that link there and I will have it. You can click now to add items above or below your video, and you can add text, you can add images. You find something and you wanna bookmark it, you can do that. You can add a PDF if you find that. You can even add tweets and other YouTube videos just by clicking here on the apps. Click on text, and if I don't like that, it's after the video, I can actually edit this and I can move it up. So don't be concerned, you can always rearrange this. Changes have been saved automatically. Click done. I can also search here in Wakelet. I can search for Maui and see what comes up. Looks interesting. So I found this collection. And if I like this, I can bookmark it. If I click on that, I can automatically save it to my Maui Vacation collection. So that is a great feature. Going back to my Maui collection. So there's the one I just added. All I did was bookmark it. And again, I can edit this and change the order. So I'm not stuck with the order that it's in. I can change these around very easily. You can also change the layout right here. We're on media view. We can do something more compact. Grid view. And then the mood layout, the mood board. Kind of more like a bulletin board for me and what I want to do I'm gonna go ahead and leave it in media view because I'm gonna put things in order of importance for me because I may be adding like my list down here of things to pack and I can do that if I have a PDF I've already typed out a list I can import that here if I have a picture that I want to save, even when I'm on vacation, I can bring that in here. Keeps everything really organized. I can change the cover. I can upload an image from my computer from Giphy, which is nice, or choose from the library. And it's great because it goes to Unsplash. So I'm gonna choose Hawaii and see what comes up. Here's a nice picture. And you can do the full cover. You can do a half image. Or you can hide the cover. So here's my vacation coming together very nicely with all my little ideas. And I like that it saves things automatically. So if I click over here on Wakelet, it'll take me back to my dashboard. Notice I've also created a collection, like I was telling you at the beginning, 
for my lesson. When I started this planning, I was on Unit 3, Lesson 13. What I like about this is that in my actual Wakelet account, my teacher account, I have all the lessons, all the units listed, and they all have their own collection. So they're Unit 3, Lesson 13, Unit 3, Lesson 14, and so on. And as I find new material, I can just plop it in. So over the summer, I don't have to be thinking about lesson planning. If I happen to stumble across something, it's like, oh, that would be great for this lesson. I can drop it into my Wakelet collection. Over here, you can see that I have two collections. I've bookmarked one thing. So with this Maui collection, if I wanted to add somebody else, so if I'm traveling with somebody else and we want to bring our ideas together, you can invite them to collaborate on this board. Copy this, send the link, and they don't even have to create an account. They can start editing and adding right here. If you notice, here on my I Am Unit 3 Lesson 13, I added Mrs. P, myself, under a different account, and I was able to add this message to the board. So that's a really great feature so that you can collaborate with others on this board. Here is where you would change the visibility so those that are in the showcase, those are public. Anyone can view them. You want people with the link to be able to see, you want to make sure you list it as unlisted and then save your changes. When you create a Wakelet account, you also have a public profile. Notice here, mine's empty, but you can go in and edit this. If you want to change the background of your collection, go to edit and go up here to the settings wheel and you can add a background image. You can upload an image or choose from the library. So now I have this really pretty beach background for my collection. Click done and it will save it. Any collection that you have, you can change that background. Just an extra added element to your collection. Up here we have the showcase and in the showcase they have all kinds of things that are already there that you can go ahead and take a look at. There's one all about organizing instruction. So if I wanted to create a board on this, I would want to look at theirs and add that or I may want to just go there and see how are they organizing their instruction. Chrome extensions for teachers I felt looked very neat. And here is all his list of all these wakelets on the list. Have you ever tried this, Forest? It's to help you stay focused. It drove me crazy. My trees kept dying. I don't like forests. Sorry. A lot of neat things. And if you like anything, all you have to do is bookmark it and you can add it to your own collections. So what do you think? Does this spark any ideas for you? Let me know in the comments below. Could you use Wakelet in your classroom? Would you want to share it with your students? Like as a full lesson here, here's your plan. Go for it. Searching here searches your collection. To search their collection, type it up here. And here are some examples of digital portfolios that others have made. I'm thinking this would be a great thing for the AVID students or actually any student, but I know ninth grade AVID, I get them started early on creating a portfolio and adding to their portfolio so they have something to look back on when they go applying for colleges by the time they're ready to graduate. Notice this bell up here. This is your notifications and you can see that Mrs. P added something to the IM Unit 3 Lesson 13. So this is going to list any updates, any changes that have been made. Also know that with Wakelet, just like Pinterest, you can follow people and you can gain followers as well. So Wakelet has so many options, ways to adjust things, how to share things, all these wonderful things. 
Hope you found this video helpful. Remember, step out, be uniquely wonderful you. See you in these next videos.